It's lurking somewhere in your home. It's smelly, it's ugly. It's the kitchen bin, and it's a design disaster. But not for much longer. Enter top designers Richard Seymour and Dick Powell. They've transformed mobiles, motorbikes and trains. Now they're about to take on the humble bin. Their mission is to put an end once and for all to all those infuriating problems of current bin design. You can always tell a good design problem because it's turned into a musical joke. And bean stains on the swing bit is one of those. You laugh when you talk about it. And you laugh because it's funny because it happens to you all the time. The thing presents in a, a absolutely horrible way. People go on filling these things up until they absolutely have to empty it. <laughs> The worst, personally, the worst thing for me about bins is the emptying procedure. Emptying a kitchen bin must rank alongside changing nappies and open heart surgery for the worst, messiest, nastiest things you could ever want to do. Oh, me. Because there's nowhere to actually put their feet, they actually grab it by their knees and it's sort of a, a bit like a bongo's drum. And that way they can... And it still doesn't help. <laughs> It's my worst nightmare, <laughs> especially when it's fish. It's always the smelliest thing as well, isn't it? For Richard and Dick, if it doesn't work, it's bad design. And a bin that's a nightmare to empty and gets half the rubbish on the lid isn't working properly. They're determined to do better and to convince a manufacturer to bring their new design into the shops. I love problems like this. I love things that we live with every day that are wrong. You use one of these things, 10, 20 times a day, and it's just not good enough yet. So, what a great challenge. There's got to be a better bin. Confident a better bin is out there, Richard and Dick set up a think tank to brainstorm new ideas. I would like my husband to appear magically every time it needed emptying. In one intensive all-day session, they've gathered together waste experts and consumer representatives to come up with some radical new solutions. But despite its apparent simplicity, um, the lowly bin one, has remained stubbornly finish, resistant nice to radical change. But again, people are going to stop. The last great leap forward was in the 50s with the invention of the pedal bin in the United States. The swinging 60s brought plastic and the swing top, an attempt to give hands-free operation for larger bins. Since then, innovation has stalled, apart from the odd attempt like this mobile bin still gathering dust at the patent office. So what these are actually doing is that they open outwards to this position. Is it doing blip or is it doing blip? We want it to go. What that? It makes some kind of noise, it'd be really satisfying using Does that do it? <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> Instead of a lid, magic doors that simply disappear when you put rubbish in. If on that collapsible one, you have the front of the bin, which can drop straight down, so you unclip it, then you just pull it. It's completely open at the front. Mm. Is that what you mean? Yeah. And then the bag... You just whip it outside. Now, how good an idea is that? Mm. No more lifting. Mm. Yeah? Just straight out the no front. Mm. Oh, I think it's good. Worth exploring. Very, very good. A bin that empties at the front. At their offices in London, Richard and Dick have ferreted out two ideas from the brainstorming session, which they hope will convince Plysu they've come up with the ultimate bin. It's looking good, but a clever design on paper is a long way from a product that could be mass produced. With the model almost finished, the oh, time okay. has come to yeah. add the final yeah. touches. What have we got here? Hi Keith, you alright? Hi John. Hi John. Hi John. Hi Richard. Bloody hell! It's my first impressions. Fantastic. Big it's a bin. <laughs> God, you've done a cracking job in the time. Okay. Can you whack it? Yeah, yeah sure. Fiddle it. Magic. What about the opening front? Yep. You sure? Let's have a look inside again. Yeah? It will work. So it will work. As if by magic. That was the plan. This failure isn't an option really, is it? Correct.
no, one of the things that excites me the most about this is you physically experience it and you go, yes, this is a bloody good idea. I think when we show this to Plyso, you know, a couple of very convincing concepts going on here and working. If it comes to convincing them about are they prepared to put all the effort into it to develop it further, then it isn't just a, an argument about design, it's an argument about how brave they're prepared to be. Hi, Tom Sully. How are you doing? Pleased to meet you after all this time. Yes. Is it symbolic that it's black? Let's hope not. The, the basic principle is a press on the pedal, it's open. Another press on the pedal, it shuts. Excellent. So it's Good. what we call the sort of disappearing doors. But then there's the other issues, which is specifically to do with getting the bin liner out. So what we've done is, instead of all this haul it out, remember it's not just disabled and older people that have trouble with the bend and the lift, mm -hmm. it's the rest of us as well, is that we thought it best if it was possible to organise this so that you could just pull the bag out. So the front of the bin opens up here, like this, and inside you've then got the liner. And you'd then be able to gather the bag together and literally just slide it out. And there you have it. Your brain is probably ticking away thinking investment, cost, and it's obviously more expensive than your standard injection. <coughs> so the, the thousand dollar question is, what do you think? My well, initial reaction is I think it looks very good indeed. Uh, there's quite a few innovative features there which uh, you don't see anywhere else and that's really what we were looking for, something to redefine the basic object. Yeah. I believe there's enough merit in what we've seen so far to take it forward to the next stage of doing some consumer testing and see what reaction we get.